The common perception of a drone is a compact buzzing device, perhaps the size of a dinner plate, used for capturing stunning aerial photography or delivering small packages. It exists in a realm of hobbyists and professional videographers, a tool defined by its limitations in size, weight, and power. But this perception is now officially obsolete. We are witnessing the dawn of a new era in personal aviation, where the line between a remote-controlled unmanned aerial vehicle and a personal flying craft has been irrevocably blurred. A machine has emerged that shatters every preconceived notion of what a consumer drone can be. Its claim is not about camera resolution or flight time. Its claim is foundational and breathtakingly simple. It is the world's most powerful consumer drone, and it possesses the verified capability to lift a full-grown human being into the sky. This is not a military prototype or a billionaire's toy. This is the Aerolift Hercules X, a machine you can theoretically purchase, and it represents one of the most significant leaps in public-facing aviation technology in decades. To fully comprehend the magnitude of this achievement, we must first abandon our traditional understanding of drone architecture. The Aerolift Hercules X is not a slightly enlarged version of a familiar quadcopter. It is a monumental feat of engineering designed from the ground up for a single audacious purpose, safe, stable, and powerful human lift. Its physical presence is the first indicator of its capabilities. With a rotor diameter spanning over four and a half meters, the Hercules X dominates any space it occupies. Its airframe is constructed from a hybrid of carbon fiber composites and aerospace-grade titanium, creating a structure that is phenomenally strong, yet remarkably lightweight. This is not a device you store on a bookshelf. It is a vehicle that requires its own dedicated transport and handling. The heart of this beast lies in its propulsion system. While a standard high-end drone might feature four or six motors, the Hercules X employs a staggering 18 individually controlled, high-torque, brushless electric motors. This multi-rotor configuration is not arbitrary. It is the core of its safety philosophy. Each motor is paired with a custom-designed, variable-pitch carbon fiber propeller that can adjust its bite into the air with far greater efficiency and responsiveness than the fixed-pitch props found on common drones. This system is powered by a distributed battery array, a series of interconnected high-discharge lithium polymer packs that collectively hold the energy equivalent of several dozen smartphone batteries. This immense power plant delivers a total thrust output that eclipses 180 kilograms, or approximately 400 pounds. This is not a theoretical maximum on a spec sheet. This is a tested, verified lift capacity that allows the Hercules X to hoist a 160-pound pilot plus a reinforced flight harness and the drone's own control systems to altitudes exceeding 100 feet with stable, controlled authority. The visual is jarring. A person, seated securely in a harness suspended beneath this geometric web of whirring rotors, ascending and descending with the serene, silent power of an elevator. However, brute force alone would be terrifying and useless. The true genius of the Hercules X and the element that makes the claim of consumer use even remotely plausible is its unprecedented level of electronic intelligence and redundancy. The drone's flight controller is not a single circuit board. It is a triple redundant federated computing system. Imagine three independent brains constantly cross-checking each other's calculations in real time. Each of these brains processes data from a suite of sensors that includes multiple inertial measurement units, IMUS, gyroscopes, accelerometers, magnetometers, and barometers. This sensor fusion creates a hyper-accurate model of the drone's orientation and movement in three-dimensional space. Beyond this, the navigation system is equally redundant. It simultaneously locks onto GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo satellite constellations for global positioning. To compensate for potential satellite signal loss, in urban canyons or under thick tree cover, the Hercules X employs a vision positioning system that uses a combination of high-frequency cameras and downward-facing LIDAR to scan the ground surface thousands of times per second. This allows it to hold a perfectly stationary hover indoors or in GPS-denied environments. The most critical safety feature, however, lies in its motor redundancy. In a traditional quadcopter, the failure of a single motor is a catastrophic event leading to an immediate and uncontrollable crash. 
The Hercules X's 18-motor design is built to withstand multiple points of failure. Its flight control software runs a real-time failure mode effects analysis. If one motor fails, the system instantaneously recalculates the thrust requirements for the remaining 17 motors, adjusting their power and the pitch of their propellers to compensate for the imbalance and maintain stable flight. The system is designed to remain airborne and controllable even with the complete failure of two or even three motors, providing the pilot with precious time to execute a controlled emergency landing. This is not just a drone. It is a fault-tolerant aerial vehicle, and this distinction is everything. The inevitable question is, why? What is the practical application for a consumer-grade drone with the power to lift a person? The answers span from revolutionary professional tools to the dawn of new recreational frontiers. For the film and television industry, the Hercules X is a game-changing cinematic tool. It can act as an ultra-precise flying camera crane, allowing a cinematographer to be lifted to achieve sweeping, complex shots that would otherwise require a helicopter, a jib arm hundreds of feet long, or the construction of massive scaffolding. This enables creative shots with a dynamic, human-operated camera in locations that are inaccessible to larger aircraft. In search and rescue operations, its potential is life-saving. Imagine a scenario where a hiker is stranded on a cliff face or in the middle of a flash flood. A traditional helicopter rescue may be too slow, too expensive, or too dangerous due to weather or terrain. The Hercules X can be deployed quickly, fly directly to the victim, and either lower a harness or deliver essential supplies like a life jacket or radio, all while being piloted from a safe location. In the industrial and construction sectors, the applications are equally transformative. Inspection and maintenance of large infrastructure, such as wind turbine blades, bridge undersides, or the upper floors of skyscrapers, are currently expensive, time-consuming, and dangerous tasks requiring scaffolding, rope access teams, or cranes. The Hercules X can carry a worker directly to the work site, holding a stable position for hours while they conduct repairs or inspections, dramatically increasing safety and efficiency. For agriculture and forestry, it could transport workers and equipment across vast, difficult-to-navigate tracts of land from one remote location to another, without the need for roads or trails. For the adventurous consumer, it opens up the realm of extreme recreation. Sky yakking could become a new sport, where individuals are lifted over stunning landscapes for a bird's eye view that goes beyond what any helicopter tour could offer. It could be used for accessing remote fishing spots in the middle of a lake or reaching a mountain summit for a unique camping experience. The potential for unique, personalized aerial experiences is limited only by the imagination. However, the existence of such a powerful machine immediately plunges us into a thicket of legal, ethical, and safety dilemmas that are as complex as the drone's own engineering. The current regulatory framework for unmanned aerial vehicles in most countries is completely unprepared for a device like the Hercules X. Aviation authorities like the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, in the United States have strict, well-established categories for aircraft, but the Hercules X exists in a gray area between a model aircraft and a manned ultralight. Its operation in controlled airspace is a legal minefield. Questions about mandatory pilot licensing, mandatory insurance, airworthiness certification, and operational limitations are currently unanswered. The manufacturer's claim of consumer availability is contingent on navigating this unprecedented regulatory landscape, which may take years to resolve. From a safety perspective, public perception is a huge hurdle. The concept of trusting one's life to a multi-rotor device controlled by software is a significant psychological leap. While the redundancy is extensive, the question of absolute software reliability remains. Could a rare software bug or a unforeseen electromagnetic interference event lead to a system-wide failure? In conclusion, the AeroLift Hercules X is far more than a mere product. It is a paradigm shift made manifest. It is a machine that challenges our definitions, excites our imaginations, and forces a necessary and urgent conversation about the future of our airspace. Its ability to lift a person is not a gimmick. It is a fundamental demonstration that a new layer of personal transportation 
is not only possible but is already here in a nascent, raw form. It stands as a monument to human ingenuity, a tool with the potential to save lives and transform industries, and a harbinger of a future where the sky becomes a common thoroughfare. The world's most powerful consumer drone does not just push the boundaries of technology, it completely redraws the map, inviting us to envision a world where we are no longer bound to the ground.